what the f happened? I decided that I don't want to be on it anymore. Twist, keeping that forward tight, so down and twist. And these two mixed together, a summer dream. Seriously, the highlight of my life, okay? Great, now we're gonna wash the face. Oh, yes, ooh. Queen. Good morning. Today I have a really exciting day planned and of course I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So welcome back to another vlog. Finally have like a day off to myself. Last week I was so overwhelmed because I had to work like six days in a row and I just felt like I didn't have a single moment for myself. So today we're feeling good. Last night I slept so amazing. I went to bed around like 11.30, woke up at eight, and I am just feeling so well rested. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. This has been seriously the highlight of my life, okay? I got this at Target, it's by the brand Zulo. I don't know, me and Cody got matching ones, and I'm so in love with this. It literally holds so much water, obviously. It has like those time stamps. And yesterday I brought it with me to hot yoga, I literally finished this whole entire jug while working out. It was just insane. And it has such a good like straw, like it's just so smooth. There's just something, I'm telling you, I know I sound crazy, but there's just something about having a good water bottle that makes you want to drink more water, which is very important. Hot girl summer, you know? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, when I think about hot girl summer, like to me, hot girl summer is just truly living like your best life and not giving a f not necessarily like looking on point, but obviously that helps too. There's like nothing worse than when your freaking pads get all messed up. If I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I'm doing a collab with brands for my TikTok and basically it has to do with like shaving and grown hairs and all this stuff. And so I'm filming that today after my workout and I have not shaved my body because obviously I want like a good before and after to like show how everything works. And my armpits, my legs, everything is just so freaking hairy and I am so excited to shower, so excited to film my collab use these products because they're really good products. I don't know if I can talk about it, but nonetheless, my dogs are going crazy outside. Um, but nonetheless, I just think it's so freaking funny. Like the extremes I go to just to like get a really good video because obviously when I do a collab, like I just want to do my best. And <laughs> listen, if you give me shaving tools and I have to shave, I'm gonna give you a good before and after. But anyways, I just thought it was funny. I was like putting on my hair and I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot I haven't shaved my armpits in a little bit. <sighs> maybe that was too, maybe that was TMI. Da, 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 da. Right. We are having a little Celsius today. This is Tropical Vibes Sparkling Stir Fruit Pineapple Edition. This one's like one of my favorites and we're just gonna pour it into a cute little glass. We're gonna drink it sit outside it is just so beautiful outside and i really feel like i just needed a good day like with weather and everything because it's just been like so gloomy so oh i wanted to add ice it's been so gloomy out so like not freezing but just uncomfortable outside and i feel like obviously everyone can relate but like when the weather is just blah you feel blah you don't want to get out of bed and that's how I was feeling last week. And I swear, like I said in my last video, one week you're doing good, the next week it's just like, what the f happened? That's how life is, you know? So we're not gonna complain, we're just going to take the days that we are feeling good and run with that shit because obviously it's a hit or miss sometimes. So this literally looks like pee. I think I honestly just get very like, overwhelmed very easily and um last week i had to work six days in a row at like my actual job and that just like stressed me the fuck out because like i have a lot to do and i'm in this position where like i work a full-time job 
but my social media stuff is like really becoming a part-time job and I want to put more energy towards that. I feel good today. And that is all that matters. So cheers. Happy Thursday. It is currently 8.30. We're doing great with time. Great with time. It feels so good out here. Like this is what I need. I love nature. So calming. I feel like the birds are speaking to me. While I'm out here, I'm going to make my to-do list for the day because I don't know how many times I can talk about a freaking sticky note, <laughs> but it has really been helping me just stay on track and just help with time management. I feel like that's also something I really struggle with is just like having my own time, but then like, am I using it wisely? So having a sticky note just literally helps me stay on track and I will stick it to my phone. So it's constantly like right in front of me, just reminding me of everything that I do want to accomplish. And I only write down like prior like priorities. So it's just, it's such a helpful freaking tip. And I know it's something that you probably already heard of, but like when you actually do it, it just like, it hits different. And especially if you write it down, like I have so many to-do lists made in my phone, but the amount of times I've actually even looked at it are zero. Like I've never actually looked at my phone to remind myself again of my to-do list, but having it written down, it's just, it's so much better. Andre. Mm-mm. Rude. I still need to recover from another love Or would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart in my I got sweat in my eyes. That's like the worst thing about working out outside. I get so much sweat in my eyes and I can't see and then the sun and it's like shit. But we did it. I don't know why I just did that. I'm going to make a little protein powder. This one is the protein that I picked up from Whole Foods and it's in the chocolate flavor. I actually really like it. So I'm not mad that I accidentally grabbed the wrong flavor. It's really freaking good. It tastes like um, brownie batter. So some ice cubes. I'm taking two scoops. I'm adding a little scoop of almond butter. We're going to do some honey. Some oat milk. <laughs> I guess I can take that off. Cheers to being healthy queens. Well, healthy-ish. Cheers. It smells and it literally tastes like brownie batter. So good. I don't think I said it yet, but I am getting my hair done today and I'm really excited. The best part about getting your hair done is you can work out get your hair as nasty as possible and then someone's gonna wash it for you aka my sister so i'm feeling happy we're gonna get in the shower clean my body because i am a sweaty queen and <laughs> oh my god 
The good vibes are just here. And now I gotta get in the shower before I waste all my hot water. We're gonna do some skincare together. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water. I'm obsessed with this. I like putting it on my skin after um, I'm out of the shower to like dampen it again and then put on my serums. <laughs> it feels so good. I just lose control. I had my skincare fringe on overnight, so everything is super cool right now. And oh, I just... Listen, if you don't have a skincare fridge, they're not even that expensive and it changes your life. So get a skincare fridge. You deserve it. I'm going to go in with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. So amazing. I really love this stuff. I've had it for so freaking long and it's definitely worth the price with how much you get. But it just like hydrates the skin. It literally keeps those pores in check. Haven't updated you guys, but I know a while back I was talking to you guys a little bit about like birth control, my birth control situation. So I was on the depot shot. I'm going in with the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. I was on the depot shot and I was supposed to get my shot right after I came back from Florida. And I basically told my doctor like, hey, I'm not getting my shot. I have to make an appointment with her to go in and like talk to her about what options would be best for me because I just listen I felt like a damn zombie on that shot and at first it was everything I ever wanted like I didn't get my period barely like um had severe cramps and everything like that like it was fine at first I felt like this is what everyone needs to go on like who doesn't want to not get their period you know but I don't know, within the past few months, I felt like a zombie. I was definitely just like numb to everything. I was just like going through the motions, if that makes sense. And I noticed a huge change like within myself. This is the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Cream. Um, and I just was talking to Cody and I was like, I just, I don't know, I feel like different. And I was all over the place and I just, I decided that I don't wanna be on it anymore. I want to look at my options and just kind to and just kind of explore. And I know it's probably going to take a lot longer to notice like significant um, changes. I already feel like I'm feeling things differently again. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't feel as numb to my emotions. Like I'm allowing myself to express them. And as to before, I think I was just like in this slump where like I never allowed myself to feel. And I don't know, I really don't know how to explain this, but I feel a lot better and it only has been a month without getting the depot shot. Um, I definitely wanna get on a birth control because I'm only 21 and I do not wanna have a kid. <laughs> um, and I just wanna be like smart about it. So obviously me and Cody are, you know, being adults. I feel like there's so much information about birth control out there, but it's like one one person says this, someone says the opposite and it's like, it's a constant battle of like, what should I believe? So like, I just, I literally need to go in, talk to my doctor and just like lay everything down on the table and then figure it out. But that's just a little update. I feel a lot better and that's just that. My makeup routine has been getting shorter and shorter every single time because I've just been loving the natural, no makeup, makeup look. And I really think that's how my skin has just been like healing. So I just sprayed my face again with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water because this is like the best makeup primer skincare serum ever. I love putting it on my skin before I go in with makeup. I have super dry skin, so if it is not hydrated, my makeup is looking cracky. It breaks up, it separates, and it just looks terrible. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm like literally almost out of this bottle. Don't worry, I already have my backup in my drawer down below. My makeup doesn't look good unless this is underneath it, and that is a damn fact. I forgot to apply my eye cream earlier, so I'm going in with that now. This is the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Eye Cream. It has caffeine in it too, so I feel like it just wakes up the under eye. And it looks really nice underneath concealer. It's just so silky and hydrating underneath the eye. And I bring it up on my brow bone. I have no idea what that does. I don't even know if it does anything, but it just feels good. Listen, I can't believe I haven't shared this because I'm obsessed. Like when I say I found my summer go-to base makeup, girl, 
the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This is literally like a tinted skincare sunscreen bottle, like magical. It has niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. It's super lightweight, it's glowy, it's natural. Actually, I mean, it is glowy, but it doesn't make me oily throughout the day. This is in the shade 9.5, and then I also picked up the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution sun Sunshine Drops. I don't even know what anti-pollution means, if I'm being honest, but these are gorgeous, and these two mixed together, a summer dream. Basically, I will just plop some on the back of my hand, like two drops, and then I'll take like... Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll take about a drop and a half of the Drunk Elephant and then just mix that together. And then I'll just swipe that onto my skin. Sometimes I blend it in with my fingers, but I don't know. Sometimes I also feel like I just hate the feeling of it on my freaking hands and I get so messy. Like if I'm running late, of course I'll do that. But then I'll just take my Beauty Blender and blend that into my skin. It's nothing crazy, like the coverage is definitely light, but obviously that's why it's a skin tint, but it just like evens out my skin tone and it does everything that I need it to. And also it has like literally everything that I apply like skincare wise to my skin. So like if I'm feeling really lazy, all I need is this serum and we are good to go. Like I love, this is gonna sound so conceited, but after I apply those, that combo, I love looking at my skin and I'm like, holy shit, it just looks so good and so natural. Can't even detect it on my skin. It just blends out seamlessly, super natural. And like I said, it just evens out the skin tone without like doing the most because you can still see like um, my beauty marks and everything, which I love. Like I want my skin to breathe. And this duo is literally that. Also super random, but I now have my Amazon storefront linked in my description as well as my like to know it. So if there's anything that you guys want linked, please let me know because I'm trying to stay consistent with updating both of them and like linking all my favorite products and stuff. Just let me know if there's anything that you really want linked and I will link it for you. I'm going in with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2.8. This is bomb. I got it because Michaela, um, she was using it and obviously everything she uses is just like, you need to have. So I picked it up and now I am just obsessed, literally camouflages into your skin. This is a Shiseido brush, like an angled brush, and I will literally just pat that on to the blemishes. Definitely was using like the wrong concealers to spot conceal because you definitely need like a matte finish. You don't want anything super um, like shiny because you will bring light to it and this is just literally perfect. And then for my under eyes, I've been using the Fenty Eye Bright brightener this is not necessarily a concealer i definitely have been using it as one perfect amount of coverage even though it's super lightweight like if you want something to conceal this is not it but for me somebody who just wants a little bit of coverage a little bit of brightness this is everything and it looks super natural I'm actually trying out a new bronzer that i was filming for my tiktok this is the say sun melt in the shade medium bronzed and it is gorgeous i feel like my uh lighting is not picking it up but like this side is done and just look at like oh it's so good i just took my um elf buffing foundation brush picked up a little bit dabbed off the extra on my hand and then um just kind of went for it i love how lightweight it is and it is um buildable like i wouldn't say it comes out with an extreme amount of pigment which is something i look for when i'm doing my cream bronzer because i want something that i can build up and not just like have to blend for hours this is like something i think i've needed for a long time i'm just really happy with like how it's looking on my skin it doesn't look cakey it looks like it just it's seamless. It literally looks seamless. Now I'm going to add some liquid blush. This is also by Say. This is their Dew Blush in the shade Poppy. It's like an orangey coral. When I first saw it, I was a little bit nervous, but when I put it on my skin, because I ordered it online and it definitely did not look this bright online. And then when it got to my house, I was like, oh shit. 
but it is so freaking pretty. I just kind of put it on the highest point of my cheeks, kind of where I used to put my highlighter. And oh my God, it blends out and it looks so pretty. It's like the perfect everyday coral peachy. I just freaking love cream blush right now. It just, it looks like you're sunburnt. And I'll bring it over my nose. Oh, it's everything. I feel like I do need to bring more lightness though. So I'm going to go in with my um, Hourglass Concealer in the shade Silk. Just put it on my forehead, my chin, just to like even everything out. I feel like sometimes it can look a little bit muddy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit underneath my eyes. Even though I said I've only been using the Fenty one, which I swear I have, but I don't know. I just, I'm feeling different today. I like doing my blush before my concealer if I do add more than the Fenty one because everyone on TikTok is like blending their blush with their concealer, which was so weird to me, but I understand. I understood the assignment. It does add like a very brightened under eye look. This is kind of random, but a really good tip. You know when like you just set your beauty blender down and sometimes it rolls off your uh, vanity and it's disgusting? Like you don't want your beauty blender touching hair on the floor. I, when I organized my um, vanity, I kept this little thing just to keep it on my desk and to hold my beauty blender. <laughs> I'm pretty smart, right? I feel like I've been doing my makeup forever, but I love it. Um, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. This is phenomenal. Best powder I've used in my life on my face. So good. Just gonna lightly set underneath my eyes. We are going to apply some bronzer. This is the Mario, <laughs> Makeup by Mario bronzer in the shade medium dark i feel like they definitely could have done a better job with getting a better shade range like this is medium dark and it like i think there's only like maybe one or two shades after this which is crazy this is a i feel like i never talk about the brushes that i'm using and i'm really sorry um but this is the sonia kashuk i don't know if i'm pronouncing that brand's name right um it's the sonia sonia Sonia, Sonia. It's the Sonia Kashuk brush. I got it from Target and it's not too dense, but it's not too fluffy. It's the perfect bronzer brush just to dab it on and stipple it on. I don't know, dab it on, stipple. I just like to like pat it on to set my bronzer. Well, I will never be caught having a darker face than my neck, okay? I don't care what product I gotta put down my neck. We're blending it so it matches. Now I'm going to go in with the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. This one gets tricky. I love it on my skin. Like it just makes my, it makes all of the makeup that I just applied like melt right into my skin and it looks super seamless. But it does have a little tiny, tiny, tiny specks of glitter in it. So I don't like getting it on my under eyes. So I will literally like do this. Like that. I just sprayed my freaking ear. <laughs> Ew, I just sprayed my ear. And I'm also going in with the um, glow water again just to spray everything. I like this mist. It's so like fine. Don't get me wrong. I love the look of eyeshadow because it just makes a whole look come together. But I hate doing eyeshadow. I feel like it just takes forever gotta blend you gotta be patient and let me tell you i don't have patience we do have a new mascara to try out that people on tiktok were telling me to try so <laughs> here we are this is the ilia ilia um after midnight no that's the shade limitless lash mascara in the shade after midnight this is the wand and it just sold me it's beautiful it's like not too thick but it's not too thin and i feel like it's going to be perfect because it's supposed to lift thicken thicken and spread them out i don't like when my lashes look spidery i don't know it's just not my preference it's not my speed 
Ooh, you know what I'm noticing? This has like a drier um, formula, but I like it. Do we see this difference? Or am I just like going crazy? Um, definitely not going crazy. What? What? I wouldn't say I have small lashes, but this is making them look good. Holy shit. That is pretty much the makeup. That is it. That is it. Even though I took forever, this is the makeup. I'm feeling good. I gotta clean up the mascara, but. I'm about to leave for the hair salon. Of course, I was running late trying to make TikToks and then I lose track of time. But anyways, this is the little OOTD. I'm wearing my new bike shorts that I just got from Aerie. They have like the crossover in the front. They're super flattering and they just fit so nicely, super comfy. This oversized tee is from Cotton On, but my dog is literally up there stretching. Um, what, what was I saying? Um, graphic tee, cotton on, and then this bag, let me put you guys on, okay? I was searching for the perfect, like, everyday, oh wait, I think I showed you, I think I told this, I think I showed this in my last vlog, but this is my new, literally my new prize possession. I'm obsessed with this freaking crossbody. It literally holds everything. It is small, but it's mighty. Love it so much. It's linked on my Amazon storefront, so get it before it sells out. They have like really cute colors too. And then I'm wearing my, my dog's about to take me out. Go ahead, sis. And then I'm just wearing my Steve Madden sandals. These are the cutest things ever. Literally a staple for summer. Um, I don't know what they're called, but and now we're going to go get my hair done. Come along, let's go. My hair is so dirty. Brush it out for her. <laughs> Every time I come to this lawn, it's always disgusting and she has to deal with it, but whatever. That's why she's the stylist and I'm just the client, you know what I mean? This is like the inspo, so what you thinking? <laughs> think we're gonna do it. I'm really excited and I'm thinking about like not chopping it, but like cutting it just so it like feels healthy. I don't know. slayed on the hair we cut it a little bit it's basically like right on top of my boob and i'm just it feels so healthy and that's literally all that i want like i don't care how long it is i just want it to be healthy i want it to feel healthy i want it to look healthy we went a little bit darker and we have like you can't really see but we put like a blue tint into it i am just so happy with it it's so fun, so fresh. I got my layers back. I really love this length. I feel like it just looks super mature and like pulled together. A little Kourtney Kardashian moment. Oh my God, like I cut a lot off. It was like down here. It was literally past my boob, so about an inch or two. This feels so freaking fresh. Like it's such a good feeling. Don't mess with a girl who just got her hair done, okay? She will run the world. Oh yeah. We're done? Yeah, we killed cool. it. Cool. Of course we had a, you know, right, a take a little photo break. Made Cody do it. I've been just like slacking with my Instagram a little bit. So I was like, new hair, new me, bitch. Slaying, slaying. Oh yes, ooh, queen. We're going to tacos and tequila. My favorite Mexican restaurant in Allentown, the freaking best. I'm starving. I literally did not eat at all today. I'm getting like, I'm getting shaky. You know when you're hungry and you're like getting shaky, Cody? 
that that's me we hangry over here but look at our outfits we look Twinning. I know you look like we're a bunch of, uh, what, what's, that? what's the old term for people that fall? Groupies. We're a bunch of groupies oh. with our panties <laughs> on. Yeah, literally. All right, we're going to try and find a table. See ya in a little bit. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. There's like so much. I got some tutorials. Oh, yeah. I got shrimp tacos and then I got some steak tacos. We have some rice on the side. And this is pineapple salsa. Beautiful. Everything looks so amazing. <laughs> I'm bloated as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I forgot my fucking leftovers. JC, do you want to go back? You feel like you should go back. I forgot my leftovers. Let's go back real quick. They probably already cleared the table. <sighs> There's no way. You wanna go back real quick? That way Wait, you, can you... we drive there? No. What do you mean? Are you gonna get out? Are you gonna get out? Okay, wait, Hold wait. your camera. No, no, we gotta go now. They're gonna oh clear. Oh my god. They're gonna clear that table. Like they were moving people in and out already when we were leaving. Oh my god. That I was really a good asked, play. do you have your debit card? I had my credit card, I just forgot my leftovers. <laughs> Shit. Every time I go somewhere, no matter what. You where, never remember the leftovers. Well, no. You always I leave. always remember my no, leftovers. I was gonna say I just always have leftovers. So I never. This is my problem. Every time I go somewhere to eat, I'm starving, and then I eat way too fast, and then I fill myself up quickly because I heard there was something like with your metabolism yeah, when you, you eat fast, you get full fast. No, like if you don't eat slow, you eat. Can I speak? Sorry. <laughs> if you do not eat throughout the day and then like the first meal you have obviously you're going to get full quicker I don't know the science behind it, but it's a thing. Oh My god, I hope they don't do I had a shrimp taco a steak taco How did a you pineapple salsa that? and chips for my dinner I mean my lunch tomorrow at work. Oh my god Is it even like oh. they're gone. I'm gonna feed you completely. Should free. we just not go? I mean, I'm gonna run in but so upset. I have a feeling they probably threw it out by now because it is packed. <gasps> he has it in his hands. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. I literally saw the lady clean the table. Oh my god. Yeah, Guys, the young I got my freaking leftovers. Yeah, that car was trying to pull out, but whatever. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I literally saw the lady trying to start cleaning oh the table. Oh my god, I could cry. I'm not gonna lie. I had a few margaritas. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna take you guys through my nighttime routine. Well, my half-ass nighttime routine and how I take my makeup off, even though I'm not wearing much, but like, you know, the vibes. This was actually sent to me, but let me tell you, it was literally heaven sent. The Juno Skin Clean, <laughs> cleans and it's the Juno Skin Cleansing Balm. This is like a makeup remover. It takes your makeup off like a dream. So I'm just gonna wash my hands first because there's just something about like not washing your hands before you wash your face that like just makes me feel dirty. So, oh, that was a lot. And you just take a little bit, you rub it onto your skin when it's like dry and it literally just melts your makeup off so quickly, so easily. You know when you're tipsy and you're just like a little tired? Great, now we're gonna wash your face. This is also by Juno Skin. It's literally like an exfoliating cleanser. It, it's super gentle, I freaking love it. It's been making my skin so freaking soft. Comes out like a little powder. You just mix some water in with it. I like using this when I'm using the makeup remover because it really just gets in. And cleans out everything and it makes my skin feel so soft i'm really obsessed with this wow literally just look those two products took off all my makeup my skin is looking beautiful it's feeling nice and i'm feeling good so that's all that matters you know I'm going to go in with the paula's choice toner well it's their skin perfecting two percent bha liquid exfoliant this smells like ass <laughs> it does not smell good like Oh my god, it, but it's really good. So it's been making my skin just so clear and it does exactly what it says. It, what does it say? 
um, it unclogs pores, shrinks enlarged pores, smooths an even skin texture, wait, smooths an even skin tone, and absorbs quickly. <laughs> I use my hands to apply this because it absorbs right into my skin. If I use like a cotton round, it just absorbs into that and it's like you're not even putting anything on your face. So I'll just go in right with my hands and it makes my skin feel so freaking good. I'm gonna take my glow water, spray my face. <laughs> Aggressively. I'm gonna go in with the avocado serum. Actually, I lied. Oh, I lied. We're going in with the Ankylis Hyaluronic Acid. <laughs> Just went all over my face. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put this on my skin first. Listen, I may have had a few margaritas tonight. Ate good, like I am bloated. I ate so much, but I've spent so much money on my skincare i'm not forgetting about it okay um so now i'm gonna take my glow recipe avocado serum two pumps this has been really helping with just like calming down my skin and my redness this is the first aid beauty ultra pair collagen cream oops i am so high maintenance there is not a beauty like secret you would give me that i would decline like, if you tell me it's good for me, I'm doing it. <laughs> AK my bonnet. And my big ass water bottle. It's called self-care. I wanted to ask if you prefer, like, maybe shorter videos, but then, like, two videos a week or just one long one. Let me know. I'm trying to be a lot better with my time management when it comes to editing, recording, and all that stuff. So just let me know if you'd rather see, like, two videos a week but a little bit shorter or one long video filled with everything. Because I personally like either or. I love a long video. I love short videos. So just let me know. I love you guys. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.